Be on guard and stay constantly alert and pray, for you do not know when the appointed time will come. Mark 13, 33. Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovely Starch Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Before you attempt on your first ever Ghanaian jollof rice, please watch this recipe. Or maybe you have been trying your very best to make that Ghanaian jollof you try so many years ago. You're finding it so hard to get it right, then this is your recipe right here. Please take a moment and just sit through this recipe and you're going to finally finally make it right okay just take a few minutes and if you want save it and you will watch later to make the best Ghanaian jollof you've ever ever made. all that being said make sure you give me a thumbs up even before we start to prepare this okay let's get right into it so these are all the list of ingredients that i'm going to be using i will list each and every one below in the description box Please gently check them out because it's for your own convenience okay so i am going to go ahead and steal my chicken the chicken is also going to help us get some broth for our jollof rice okay so the few ingredients you see here are the perfect natural spices you want to be steaming your chicken with and also to start your stew with i have some yellow red onions some habanero pepper onion seed rosemary garlic and ginger now for every true Ghanaian cooking you will see this few ingredients in their cooking we love to build our flavors with the natural spices rather than the artificial one okay so please take notes on that as well so when i had to chop some green bell peppers and i'll set that aside so now let's steam our chicken and let's just add all the good flavors to it here i have my chicken seasoning curry powder all purple seasoning and that is the golden natural spices that you need in your chicken all the ones that i blended i add about half of them here and i also added some salt mix everything together very well and cover it not any amount of water is needed here just cover it allow everything to just cook on a low to medium heat and you're going to realize that goodness of juices that the chicken is about to release that is a very good stock for your jollof rice okay so after about 20 minutes of steaming your chicken it is ready so go ahead and take them out of the stock aside allow it to cool down before you start to fry you may decide to deep fry it in the oil in your oven your air fryer or on top of your charcoal pot however you wish you can go ahead and use your chicken to do but here the most important thing is our chicken stock our chicken came out so so well i'm going to use the air fryer today because i'm not a big fan of frying my chicken okay so once that is then i'll go ahead and then begin with our stew process this is the jollof base very very important so in a new pot i'm going to add about 200 ml of cooking olive oil you may use sunflower oil you may use any oil of choice i'll allow the oil to heat up a little bit and then add one medium size of chopped onion i'll allow that to fry for about three minutes the aromas from the onions are insane it is so so good so after frying that for about three minutes i'll go in with my natural blended spices and i'll also fry that for about two minutes okay these aromas are insanely crazy you are talking about building flavors right here right here that's where we build flavors okay right from the bottom with our natural spices that's how we do it <laughs> so fry that for two minutes and then go in with your tomato paste i used about four and a half tablespoon of tomato paste right at the beginning it gets a bit thicker so go ahead and add about quarter cup of water just to easing it up a little bit once that is done cover it allow this to fry on its own for about five to six minutes on a medium heat it is important to always be cooking on the medium heat it saves you the headache of getting your pot burning okay important to be cooking at a low to medium heat 
no stress no wahala okay just have a time give it the time it needs it needs time all right so i'm going in with my blended tomatoes your regular fresh tomatoes i use the canned plum tomatoes that but it's just fresh tomatoes if you have that you can use it blend it and add it here at this point to combine very well and go ahead and add more flavors to your stew here i'm going to add some dried bay leaves some seasoning powders use the one that you prefer i use some curry powder nutmeg powder some all purple seasoning and that is it i have so much flavor in this stew already and lots of them is coming from the stock as well so i'll go in with a little bit of water just to easing it a little bit i'm going to cover this allow the stew to fry for about 20 minutes look there's one thing i see a lot of people saying because it's jollof rice that's not mean you should not pay attention to the stew you should make sure the stew is very well cooked and you can also notice that the stew has reduced in quantity significantly that means the stew is very well cooked okay so i'm going to go ahead and get my rice ready it is very important to know also the type of rice you use for your jollof if you really want to make Ghanaian jollof rice you should also take in consideration the kind of rice you use we normally go for the long grain rice so here i'm using the yasmin long grain rice you, can, you may find people who use basmati rice but it's not very popular use the yasmin long grain rice it is also very very important okay we do not parboil our rice here we do not do anything we just wash it until the water is crystal clear so now that we're done with our rice we're going to add it back to the stew so this is the tricky part please please note this just gently stir your stew and rice together make sure everything is very well incorporated and know that you want to make sure you have generous amount of your stew just look at that texture so here i'm cooking three and a half cups of rice and to that i had about about a liter and a half of stew and i'm also going in with my chicken stock which is about two cups of it okay so this is the consistency you want to go for just look at that really will enjoy salty jollof okay so before you adjust your salt make sure you have your stock in there your stew is already seasoned with lots of seasoning as well so make sure you add it at the very last end at this point okay taste it and adjust it to your preference and here i also went in with some chopped green bell peppers for me green bell peppers always does it for me i love the aroma that it gives to my jollof rice you may also choose another color which is so so well you may also decide to blend it to your stew if you do not want to see them in your rice it works perfectly well okay so make sure you mix it cover it allow it to cook for about 10 minutes check on it there to combine and make sure each and every side is cooking perfectly once you're done cover it once again allow it to just cook on a low to medium heat i highly recommend that not on a very high heat because you're going to end up burning your rice we don't want that okay so go ahead and just gently stir again after about 20 minutes you see that you are just getting all the moisture out go ahead and cover it this time i didn't even use parchment paper because this um pot is very nice it just traps the heat very well so this is the final result after cooking my jollof rice for about 40 minutes i mean the rice alone because it is on a low to medium heat okay that is what we're going for it is just lovely you can see that each and every grain of rice has really absorbed the stew that 
we made with all the love that we had. Jollof rice requires you to be patient, family. That is one ingredient you have to have. You have to be patient. There is nothing like fast, fast jollof rice. It does not always turn out good. Okay? So be gentle, be patient, and you're going to get the best jollof ever just sea greens this is what we call jollof rice this is the real and authentic ghana jollof i hope you enjoy this recipe we had our chicken a little bit of salad on the side and boy oh boy i and hobby just enjoy this so so much that man think i am the best cook in the world <laughs> And of course I am. I am so, so happy. Anytime I'm feeding him, he just enjoy my food. It just gives me so much joy. I want you to have this same feeling. So go ahead and learn this step-by-step -step of making the best Ghanaian jollof. And you're going to be so glad you did. Thank you so much, family, for watching right to the end. So grateful that you watched right to the end. I know you've gotten all your answers. And I hope your next jollof is going to be the game changer please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe share with your few friends and family let them know the secret the secret is out okay <laughs> And also, if this is your first time here, hello, hello, my name is Lovia from Love is Touch. My main goal here is to jar you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. I also love to share kitchen-related motivational videos, so please come on board and subscribe. <laughs> to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and as always know that you are so beautiful just the way you are i will see you in my next one have a blessed day bye